Pretty Boy Fredo. I didn't think it would come to this, but actually, I'm not surprised. You've been this way for years, and the people that think you change for the better have been completely deceived. Influencers like you love to paint positive and sincere narratives when all seems lost or when your back is against the wall, but the moment you get a taste or a sliver of redemption, you go right back to your old ways. Many people who are a part of SSH exposed you for the person you are. A liar, a manipulator, a scammer, and an overall bad person. All with evidence, of course. The truth has spread so far to the point where you even serve some of them court papers in order to silence them. But don't worry, I will save you all the time of you having to type up all these papers, all these court documents by letting you know that everything in this video will be backed up by facts and nothing but the facts. So anything relating to defamation is completely irrelevant. I have real accounts of real people who have worked with you and under you, providing their say on their respective situations. On top of that, this video is completely fair use as I'm providing my commentary on each matter. And before the SSH fanboys come to my comments with the same cookie cutter and sheep responses like, oh, why is he clout chasing or why are we trying to bring another black man down? I'll say that one, I don't need any views from someone who fakes content and is named after a pasta dish. Two, scammers and deceivers of all ethnicities deserve to be exposed. I do not discriminate. He brought this on himself anyway. And now that I've gotten all that out of the way, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Or should I say meat and Alfredo? You get it? Because the name is Alfredo. I tried. So Fredo's editor by the name of Itolo made a video telling his side of things and it's not too far off of what I heard before. Itolo actually reached out to me requesting that I cover this entire situation on my platform and like the federal agent that I pride myself in being, I couldn't just pass this up. So if you're looking for a summary as well as some new information, you've come to the right place. And for my JBM family, I'm sorry I took so long to upload again. I've been going through life, life happens, you know what I'm saying, but we back we back and we better you feel me so hope y'all enjoy it now in itolo's video he talks about how he found out about fredo faking his videos which is something a lot of people knew after ceo mikey exposed him about a year ago and agent zero called him out for it a few times in the past you must be saying as an editor you should know if the videos are fake right well fredo doesn't send raw footage but fredo always does the raw footage cutting like every single time i remember one time i asked him relax we can edit for you we can cut down the footage he's like nah nah nobody could do it like me i just kept that at the back of my mind but now i'm like oh he made a mistake and left this out this video is fake he speaks about fredo's character and his terrible business practices and believe me there are a lot more that i'll cover later on now itolo managed fredo's live streaming clips channel Fredo Live, and Fredo sent him a contract with a 60-40 split, which was good enough. But the contract had one red flag an exclusivity deal. This basically means that Fredo didn't want Itolo working for someone else without his permission, which is understandable if you have someone reliable to run your channel, but anyone in an agency like Itolo would not want to sign this contract and miss out on so many potential clients unless they were well paid. The Fredo live channel made about $5,000 in 10 months. Guess how much of that money Itolo got after putting $2,000 of his own money into that channel? Not a single penny. And that's not all that Fredo owes Itolo. It's gotten to be almost over $12,000 in total. But first, First, I must explain the disaster behind the reality game show. In the summer of 2022, Pretty Boy Fredo introduced his own reality game show in order to help create a new version of his group, SSH. Itolo worked closely with Fredo as a producer, sitting in calls for almost eight hours a day for four months straight. Itolo states in his video that he wanted to stay behind the scenes while not participating in the show itself. Fredo requests for him to fly out to the set of the show, booking a last minute ticket and pretty much convincing him to fly out, which he does. At 12 a.m. on the day that they were supposed to film, Itolo gets a call from Fredo. The problem Fredo has is that although Itolo was working closely with him on a pre-production and all that other stuff, he would not allow him to be in the house if he didn't sign that contract that I mentioned before. Some significant time goes by and Itolo hits Fredo up again, asking about his pay, which adds up to about $10,000 for the two months that he spent working on the show. Fredo says that he will pay him after a new brand deal comes through, and when he does eventually sign that brand deal, he all of a sudden forgets how much he owes. Surprising, right? Itolo continues to work closely with Fredo and has to keep reminding him that he isn't being paid, causing Fredo to feel a little bit guilty and promising to pay him $2,500 the next day. The next day, Fredo only pays him $1,500, and in the coming days, he claims that he has no money to pay up and stops responding to Itolo completely. This is Itolo's final message to Fredo, but it doesn't just stop at Itolo. Recently, many have exposed Fredo for things that went down on a reality game show. Let's start with contestant number one, VA May J, who were one of the first people I saw speak about his experience. Jay came into the game show to get a different perspective from what he saw in the internet and it turns out that Fredo was exactly who people said he was. I mean, by, I'm not going for none of the bullshit he was on is because I told everybody in the house, 
I was like, I know Fredo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I watched him. I watched him go from a humble nigga to whatever this is now. And I said, just play it, play it back, bro. Don't dick ride him, don't do nothing. Just do business and business only. Cause I'm telling you, if you get too invested in this nigga, he is gonna fuck you over. Basically, it seems like Fredo only wants people around that he can easily manipulate. We have seen many examples of this. Because he went against Fredo and had his own mind, Jay was essentially blackballed despite all the love in the comments. He also adds that the $10,000 prize for the game show winner was completely fake. Again, not surprising. The next contestant that I saw speak out was Keyshawn Kizzy. In his video, he answers many questions about his personal experience with Fredo. Keyshawn felt like Fredo was trying to use him for clout and views, and everything he was promised as far as gifts and surprises was either a lie, Keyshawn knew of it already as in his reaction was faked, or Fredo took it back after the video was done. Keyshawn also confirmed some more things. Fredo is a manipulator and scammer. The winner of the game show would not get $10,000 like Jay confirmed earlier. He takes back the gifts that he gives out in his videos, as also confirmed by CEO Mikey almost two years ago. He fakes videos and his lifestyle is not what he portrays. The nigga don't pay people his money. He don't like giving what's old. He don't like being genuine. Oh, here, I'll help you out with this. Here's your money. He basically uses the people in his videos with views and clout and numbers and stuff and things of that nature. I kid you not, the vibe is totally different when that camera off. When that camera on, he's in it. Oh, I'm super, I'm gonna be genuine. I wanna impress my fans. I want my fans to think I'm this guy, think I'm that guy. That's not the case. The nigga like, treat, treat, treat you like shit when them cameras off. You feel me? On top of all this, Fredo took Keyshawn's video down, filed a police report on him, and even threatened to sue him. It is also heavily implied that Fredo is behind an IG account called SSH News, used to spread lies on Keyshawn's name, among other disrespectful things. I deleted all my videos off my channel because he kept reporting them. If y'all go to my channel, you're not gonna see my highest viewed video, which hit 100k. The nigga put a police report on me, or his lawyers on me, just to silence me from, from speaking my truth, from saying what's true now. That's how you know he's guilty in a way. Why would you do, go, off, go out your way to do all that when you when you what you're saying is true 100 percent right if i knew i was right and what i was saying was right i'm not gonna go on my way for no police court no nigga wrapping up the reality game show disaster is another contestant by the name of lou chewy pause lou also known as matt states that on set he and fredo butt heads and that fredo threatened to kick him off the show after accusing him of sabotaging the chances of other contestants after he does like the whole cut like he cuts the whole video he's like bro he looks at me and he's like if i ever see you try to up these kids opportunities i will personally send you home and my first instinct is like who the fuck is you talking to bro i'm like flabbergasted that not only would he think that i would try to ruin the contestants an opportunity on the show after i gave seji like after i went up to seji and i went up to a couple other contestants i said if i win this 10 day, 10 rack, i'm gonna give each and every one of these kids one thousand i was blown away so when fredo's going off on me all the contestants obviously did not support me and did not back me up which how, how can you expect them to bro he goes and walks away after we went back and forth for about five minutes he goes and walks away and he's like he, 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 he comes back and i go up to him and i'm like man i think it was just a misunderstanding I think it was blah, 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 and he says, I don't want to talk about this right now. All right, so kill my whole vibe for the rest of the video. After this, Matt reveals many other things. The reality game show house was not fake, though it was fixed, like Jay mentioned before. He had to sleep outside the house, Fredo came across as hungry for views, and at some point, he had lost himself overall. Like I said, do I think the point system was fake? Yes, he clearly manipulated it, but I think he may have did it because he just didn't work and he didn't want to go back and watch the content and YouTube and the videos. Like, he just doesn't, like, I don't even think he has passion for what he does, bro. Like, I think he just cares about the clicks and the impressions and he doesn't care about anything else but the clicks and the impressions, bro. Like, you gave all these kids an opportunity, all these kids with the same mindset, all these kids with the same dream. 19 years old, bro, I'm 19, Key was 19 and we weren't even the youngest contestants, bro. Pierce is 18, Brody was 18. You had more on there that was like 20, 21, but like, shit, for real? Like, I'm 19 years old, bro. I just graduated and, uh, you know, I just the, the, the lowest point you gotta get, man. Matt finishes his video discussing how he feels about Fredo in general after this whole situation. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm not gonna come at it from a, from a perspective. Um, do I think that Fredo is a scumbag? Yeah, bro. I think he got too caught up. I think, I, I think he's a really, I think he's really hurt. Like, bro, I think he's shallow, bro. I think he got way too caught up in the money and fame. And once he got to an all-time high, he hit, he hit the cutout and then he's not getting any more money no more. So he kind of needs money now. Back onto the platform and he's back dropping videos, faking videos. The most recent and prior Probably the most damaging exposed videos of all these is from none other than Cam Dillard, also known as Cam Deezy. Cam has been around Fredo for years, appearing in videos like the Pretty Boy Fredo clone video and another video where he plays as a nerd. In these two recent videos, Cam reveals that Fredo manipulated him into thinking that everything he was doing to help Fredo was for the greater good and was gaslighted into thinking that his sacrifices would pay off in the end based on Fredo's promises. After paying for multiple last minute 
flights to wherever Fredo wanted him to be, it turns out that his hard earned money and time was completely wasted. He will use you, drive you to the ground, and then when he's done, he's done. I've been in the military, so I've been like traveling and shit to make videos done with him. I would do videos with him. I, I don't know how many videos or how many he's deleted, but I've done over 10 videos with this nigga. I bought all my tickets to fly out to New York from Arizona. Sometimes they'd be $800, sometimes they'd be $1,000. And it's not like I'm rich and have the money to do that. He would give me a day's notice and say, you need to be in New York or Orlando in two days or by tomorrow. And then when I'm like, bro, I don't have the money or like time, he would gaslight me and tell me like, nigga, are you really even questioning this? Like, is this even a question? You're really gonna miss out on making millions of dollars and it would get me thinking like yeah i mean i guess you're right da, da, da. then he'd be like honestly bro if anything i'll just help you just buy the ticket and i'll help you and it would end up in him never helping me or paying me and i'm out thousands of dollars doing it on top of this he says the video in which he receives a new corvette from fredo was completely fake just like he sean confirmed in his video it seems like a never-ending cycle the corvette video was 100 fake and i did it because he's really good at making it seem like it's gonna benefit me when I knew it wasn't going to. I and the other guy split bought the Corvette and I put the security deposit down on it, $2,000. He didn't want any hands on it and made it seem like, oh, I'm not involved because I'm not gonna make a video. I'm not gonna be using it. But he was the main one to use the Corvette and he was the least one to put money down for it. So I blame myself a little bit for being so stupid and it's not like I'm doing this because I didn't blow up and shouldn't didn't work out. It's about the fact that he completely cut me out after this and I didn't do anything, but stick up for this nigga and try to help him, bro. Cam has even watched Fredo scam people he hires for videos and even talked down on other SSH members as well as Etola. Fredo even forced Cam to block DDG and members of AMP on social media. When he works with people in these model agencies, he does not pay them. I've watched him do that multiple times from the time I met him and I'm just like, you know what? Maybe this is just what it is. This is how the game is. But no, you don't do that to people. It's up is wrong the nigga literally made me block ddg and delete all his music off my spotify ddg and amp literally live rent free in this nigga's head he does he didn't allow me to watch amp videos in his house that's the control method bro like fredo's crazy he literally didn't allow me to have that shit on my own phone and then like days would go by and he would literally be like cam unlock your phone or get out my house while going through the comments of all these exposed videos it seems to be a debate about if fredo or ddg fakes videos what's the difference or whatever and i'm going to clear that up right now ddg scripts videos fredo fakes videos when ddg drops his videos most people know it's a storyline behind it and he doesn't try to push it as if it's real that's just based on what i've seen i'm not even a crazy fan of ddg i mess with some of the music you know what i'm saying I, I could definitely admit that but I'm not a crazy fan of DDG. Fredo will literally post a video and make it as if it's real. Like he'll be like, yo, this is what happened. I bought a new house. I bought a new car for this person, buying my best friend this, gifting this person this. You know what happens after that video? He takes it back or he fakes the video entirely. Exhibit A. Remember that video when you went to the uh, the worst reviewed hotels and this is the only way I figured out it was from CEO Mikey when he exposed him. That video was completely fake. I heard that this man got rats and rats roaches and planted it in the room to make it seem like the hotel had rats and roaches and you know what he did after that video according to ceo mikey you guys know that hotel that hotel video he did where there was rats and mice and clickers this nigga went to a pet shop he bought all those rats and everything and he put it in the establishment to make the establishment look bad for his video he didn't even clean up after the crickets are still there he didn't even clean up. so now that business has a bad reputation because he decided to make a fake video at the time of him beefing with CEO Mikey or Mikey exposing him or whatever, Mikey would be on Annoying TV stream. If y'all know who Annoying TV is, he's a Twitch streamer. He used to play 2K. A lot of y'all that play 2K probably know Annoying TV. I used to work on his plug channel, you know, his clips channel and stuff like that, do clips and stuff. And Annoying and Mikey was reacting to Fredo's response to uh, Mikey exposing him the first video. I don't know what, I think it probably Fredo saying he was bankrupt or something like that. It was that video. He actually copyright striked one of the reactions that Annoying did to his video striked it and he blocked me on instagram i'm not mad because i'm not even a fredo fan a crazy fredo fan and i never really follow him on instagram i'll try to search up his name when mikey was was beefing with him to see if, if he was responding you know what i'm saying and it turns out i was blocked but it's cool though you feel me he, it's cool we just know the lengths he would go you know the measures he would take to silence the truth and it's crazy all right so the next video that i'm 100 percent sure that he faked was the donating money to streamers to do dares or something like that that video was posted about i think 
probably May of 2021, around the same time CEO Mikey was exposing him and all that other stuff, people found out that that video was fake immediately because of Annoying TV. Annoying TV was reacting to that video and he went to see if the, uh, one of the Twitch streamers or one of the streamers that he donated to was a real streamer, a real person. Multiple people that were in that video, he did research on or was trying to figure it out because somebody asked him in the chat. And it turns out that that account was made the day of the video or a few days before the video was uploaded and it was fake it had like four vods on there a fake person he had to keep redoing it and he was like i gotta try i gotta redo my reaction like yo caught up just caught up ain't this the nigga who was all in all the other videos chat i swear this is the same thing who was in all the other videos we can check his vod oh my god we can check his vod what was the name you know it's so crazy the nigga's going live and ending every single time so like fredo is probably telling him so like, yo, you gotta redo it. Like, yo, you gotta redo it. You gotta redo it. Nigga, this nigga's in his live over and over and over again. <laughs> yo, you're gonna have to restart it, bro. I, I can't. What? I can't. Oh, no! I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. He said he's gonna have to restart! Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 And you know what Fredo did? He took that video down after getting a lot of backlash in the comments. That's what happened. Fredo took it down and he put it right back up months later. I think for like Vlogmas or something like that. And it was a lot of people in the comments saying, yo, didn't you upload this video before? I saw this video before. And that's exactly why he took it down. You can literally ask anybody that was around Fredo, Itolo, CEO Mikey, anybody that was around him that's willing to answer your DMs or whatever. They would tell you that them videos were fake or whatever videos they'll tell you, yo, this video was fake. If you go through his channel, if the video is not taken down by now, <laughs> they'll be like, yo, this video is fake, that video is fake, and that video is fake. Simple as that. Based on a countless exposed videos, I doubt people are just going to let him slip by and let this get swept under the rug. You can't just leave and go on some spiritual journey and come back and act like everything is good and say you changed for the better. It doesn't work like that, man. There's too many videos out, too many people that have, have been wronged by you. I didn't get scammed or anything, but there's countless people out there who have gotten scammed by your maiden hype scam scam your cash app scam a lot of people you know you know how we how we do with the youtubers man i got youtubers trying to sue me you know what i'm saying calling me a bully when i call them scammers and i call them out you feel me if you know you know that's why you got people signing contracts because you don't want nobody to speak against you because you know what you're doing you know what you're doing you didn't pay your thumbnail designer in august and i'm sure he still haven't got his money if he can confirm you know what i'm saying hit my dms if i'm wrong i'll you know put it in the pinned comments or put a comment down but i'm sure he hasn't got his money knowing you it's sad that people will really use their platform though he may have changed in terms of content and that happens with youtube who gives a f but use your platform to really scam the people that put you on the people that got you in that position is scummy that's all i got to say you know what i'm saying if you rock with the video man sub feel me like the video up you feel me you know check out my other videos too you feel me i got some bangers some real nice bangers so uh yeah hope you have a good day it's fargo and i'm out man